The gilt-edged bite of Jaws on so many of today's pop culture artisans speaks powerfully to the stamina of this single film. Its extraordinary shelf life has allowed it to function as sort of a creative well from which filmmakers may draw inspiration and innovation. A well that never seems to run dry. Anyone who's around my age, you know, who's in this movie business, always kind of cites Jaws as like the first movie they remember seeing or the movie that made them want to get into movies or, or started their love affair with movies. I still remember the first time that I saw Jaws in the theater and how it affected me. I walked away thinking, I want to learn how to do that when I get older. And it absolutely changed the direction of my life in one night. I, I'm always really you know, grateful when anybody, especially a young director, comes over to me and tells me that they were in some way strangely influenced by, by Jaws. And I say, well, great, you're part of our club then. You know, you got it. I aggressively pursued Jaws as a way to learn from the master. You know, I saw the light. You know, I saw Jaws and I saw that's that's, the, that's the, the promised land up there. That's what you have to aim for. It affected me in filmmaking, just wanting to make movies that were larger than life. Certainly, I think it was one of those, those big films in my life that inspired me eventually to, to uh, want to go on and be a filmmaker. I think that anyone that wants to make big Hollywood blockbuster movies was certainly inspired by Jaws. Probably every film I make, I'm always evoking Jaws in one way or another. It's like one of the basic films that drives me as a filmmaker. I've worked with Steven on three projects and I still stand next to him, and every time I look at him, I go, that's the guy that did Jaws. That's the reason why I'm here. I hope the picture has inspired a lot of filmmakers. I mean, that's another added benefit to this whole miraculous event.